Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the brand new 2017 Winnebago Mini Plus 26 RBSS. This is an awesome floor plan. This is the first one we got in of the Mini Plus series. I love a ton of the features this coach has. Let's go ahead and start on the front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. Power tongue jack right up front. This course makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle with just a touch of a button. You can raise and lower the tongue. Then there's also a light right there for some added visibility. Behind that's your propane tank cover with two 30 pound tanks in there for 60 pounds of propane. Behind the cover you'll see your battery rails. So of course your battery goes right back there. Then coming up the front here is black diamond plating. That helps protect your front end from rocks and debris that get uh, thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it hits this diamond plating and doesn't beat up your beautiful front end here. Speaking of the front end, you can see the stylish contouring they've put in that. The big Winnebago badge there right on the front. You have LED lights both on the side and another one tucked right in here. So it gives it a really cool aesthetic at night as well. So as we come around to the side of the coach, I want to show you something that sometimes I, you'll see on higher end fifth wheels, but I have never seen on a travel trailer, and that is this right here. If you take a look, they have actually utilized a drop frame system on a travel trailer. Where your I-beam's running across, you can see right here it drops down for this last little section, and what that does for you is it gives you huge space in your pass-through. So let's go ahead and take a look. You'll see the magnetic latch right there. Look how large that is. That is a massive pass-through for a travel trailer. You know, the, the distance right here, I mean, you can fit, you know, huge items in here, whether it's, uh, you know, zero gravity chairs, grills, whatever you need to, you can go ahead and fit it right in there. Lights in there, of course, as well, so you can see at night. Right underneath, you have a propane quick connect, so if you want to hook up a grill, as I mentioned, you can store the grill right in there, take it out, hook it up, and you are good to go. The sides of the Winnebago products, uh, you know, I've said this before, I said in all the Winnebago products, it is one of the best in the industry. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the shine and luster in the sidewall. And the reason for that is because this is a true poured gel coat exterior. Uh, so as I mentioned, one of the best in the industry, uh, it's very similar to the way they make a boat hull. All right, it, it's the same process. And if you've seen a boat, you know that you can keep that shine and luster for the life of the boat. This will be the exact same. True poured gel coat exterior, then you have the uh, uh, aluminum in the wall there. That is all going to be laminated to make up the sidewall. Just a wonderful product. Power jacks, you can see the stabilizer jacks. You'll have it both in the front here and in the back. So touch of a button to go ahead and stabilize the coach out. Power awning on here as well. Now we can just touch a button to have it roll out. Same thing to have it retract. And you have an LED light that is sewn into the awning material. You have two outside speakers underneath that, so if you want to sit out here and jam out, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, those are connected to your multimedia center inside. However, it is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit right out here, connect to that with your smartphone or tablet and be able to control your music. TV hookups, electrical cable right there, so if you do want an outside TV, this is where you can hook it up at. You know, you can put a table out here if you want, or they did put a sticker right here because they already pre-built a backer into the wall. So you can just go ahead and mount your TV right there. And as you will notice, that is underneath your awning. Aluminum steps on here, again, something you commonly see in a fifth wheel. This makes it very easy to get into the coach. Uh, the aluminum won't rust on you. You have the rubber right there as well for grip and the easy grab handle here too. So from the very first step all the way in, you have a nice secure grip while uh, entering or exiting the coach. Black tank flush valve right in the back here. If you're not familiar with that, what that does is you can just, uh, rather than having to drag a hose through the entire trailer and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, with this, just take that same hose, hook it up right there. The black tank has sprayers built in. It will go ahead and wash it out for you. So you come around to the back side, you have a rear mounted ladder right here. That way you can get up on the roof. Uh, you'll notice how it has a good barrel to the roof. You'll actually see that same thing when we go inside. Um, the reason that's important out here is because that way rainwater naturally runs to the side. You'll have the rain gutters taking it to the front and back. The ladder, however, is so you can get up on the roof. You can make sure you check all of your, uh, all of your silicone and caulk and everything up there. And any sticks or pine cones that fall, you can uh, go ahead and clean those off as well. Spare tire back here with the cover. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it will be in good shape. 
right around the corner is your 30 amp detachable plug. So you'll see right here on the off door side, you have your solar prep. Uh, so if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the ZAMP panels, they'll plug right into here, it's already pre-wired and you can start to trickle charge the battery. And right over here, as I mentioned, this is kind of a convenience center of sorts. Um, you can see your potable water to fill your tanks there, your spray port for your outside shower. As I mentioned, you can flip it right here. So this is to fill the tank or you can flip it up for city. Battery disconnect, electrical outlet, and your cable and satellite hookups are right there as well. But all right, folks, it pretty much wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Mini Plus 26 RBSS. Let's go ahead and start off right over here. So you see you have a big super slide, nice open space here as well. You can see how much floor space you have, which is nice. Really makes the uh, travel trailer very open. But tr uh, trifold sofa right over here, very comfortable. Of course, you have nice armrests there as well. And the trifold, as I've mentioned many times, not only is it comfortable to sit on, it's also very comfortable to sleep on as it creates a large bed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ceiling real quick, if you will. Uh, LED lights all the way down, which is uh, great because they uh, don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power as your standard incandescents. Ducted AC as well, you can see some speakers here. Uh, king jack for your antenna, which is also a, a good feature because you don't have to worry about lowering your antenna back down because you don't have to raise it up, all you have to do is spin it. But the most important thing I want to point out is the fact that this is a barreled ceiling. So that gives you a lot of head height in here if you're a taller person. And if you spend on or plan on spending a lot of time in your camper, it makes it seem a lot more open and less claustrophobic. Let's go right over here, finishing out our super slide. You have a U-shaped dinette. Uh, U-shaped dinettes are great because everyone can sit around them if you have any guests. And the table here does drop down. You can see it's just a uh, swing table, which is great. Very easy to put that up and um, as well as drop that back down if you do want to drop it down into a uh, bed. Then right underneath here, you will also see you have two USB ports. So if you need to plug in cell phones, you can go ahead and do that there. And right up here in the corner is an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a tablet or a um, laptop, you can do that too. Moving over into the kitchen, beautiful solid surface countertops in here. Again, just kind of show you the quality of the Mini Plus. And you have the undermount uh, stainless steel double bowl sink. This is a very deep bowl, I may add. It's probably tough to see on camera, but uh, I like having deep bowls like this, almost zero radius in the corners, which means that they, this entire bowl here is usable. So if you do have bigger pots and pans, you can uh, fit them down in there because of the depth. And that zero radius is really great too. If you have a glass, you can set it right in the corner. You don't have to worry about it falling over on you like you generally do in uh, most RV sinks. High-rise faucet here as well. It is a pull-out faucet. Electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, blender, something like that, you can go ahead and plug it in there. If we take a look at some of the storage down below the sink here, you can see you have some good storage there, perfect for all your cleaning supplies. A bank of four drawers going all the way down, uh, ball bearing full extension drawers here. You can see that. Now right over here, underneath the oven, take a look at that. Deep drawer there, which is good for pots and pans. Oven right above, in case you wanna do some baking. Then an Atwood cooktop here, you have the glass top. This does just fold right back. Three burner cooktop, the front one there is high output. Up above your cooktop is your uh, hood here with the light and fan, microwave. You have your decorative glass up here. It kinda has a cool look, has some black swirls in there. But you can see you have a shelf there, good storage, and then more here above the sink. You have your skylight up top that also lets in some natural light during the day, which is very nice. Moving over is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can take a look there, plenty of room for you. Cut out here if you have taller items. Storage up top. And you can see here, excellent storage right there down below. So again, um, my opinion, probably additional room for pots and pans. Let's move over a little bit further. You get into the multimedia center, uh, 32 inch Jensen TV right here, as well as the Jensen multimedia center. Jensen, or, uh, Winnebago puts Jensen Electronics in their towable units, which I really like. They're higher end electronics built for the RV industry because they can withstand the shakes and vibrations from going down the road as well as the temperature extremes. 
This is on a swing arm mount. You just pull this loop here and you can pull the TV out, whether you want to angle it, you know, a little more toward the uh, U-shaped dinette or back toward the bathroom, I guess, whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and angle that guy there. Uh, the multimedia center is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in. You can certainly do that. This is what controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. And as I mentioned, we were outside. That is Bluetooth capable. Right underneath here, take a look at this too. This is great, very deep storage in here. A lot of times the entertainment center, you don't have a ton of storage, it's very shallow, um, especially in a travel trailer. It's usually built just for you know like a couple DVDs, not the case at all here, this is very usable. In fact, on this side, this shelf is actually removable and you will see up top you have a hanging rod. So if you want, uh, you know, like a little uh, closet for your jackets, you can go ahead and use it for that there. And as you come around to this side over here, this is pretty neat too. So right here you have a couple more robe hooks, uh, your control panel right there. But take a look at this. You have a huge storage area behind the TV, uh, which is very unique. And the thing that I like about this is it's very easy access. You can just come right inside, grab whatever you need to here, and head right back out. So items that you get often that you need to uh, get a lot, uh, that's a good place to go ahead and store them right in there. And then this is a rear bath, so if you notice, this has a big farm door here, which is cool. Go ahead and shut that for additional privacy, because, well, you're going to need it in a bathroom, I suppose. But if you come on in, a uh, couple different things. So this is a very large rear bath. You'll see you have some lights up here, mirrored medicine cabinet with storage right there, uh, towel ring, of course, to dry your hands off. Good storage off to the side as well, so great linen closet in here. Uh, plenty of room for towels, everything else you need to store there. Electrical outlet right here, great countertop space too. So, uh, you know, plenty of room for all of your bathroom accessories, as well as, you know, if you have to do your hair or anything, you have room where you can go ahead and put your curling iron to let it warm up or whatever you need to do there. Additional drawer here. And you have good storage underneath the sink. You can see right there, plenty of space for a trash can. Stainless steel bowl, I may add, that's a big deal too. Right here's your toilet. You can see you have plenty of leg room all the way around, same thing. You know, I'm a pretty uh, decently sized guy. I have a lot of room here up top too. If you take a look in the corner, this is your Neo Angle shower. You have the doors the, that are in the roller track, which is great. That way all the water stays right into the, sh or stays in the shower pan. Doesn't drip all over your floor when you open the doors up. Uh, can take a step in here, you can see plenty of height. Uh, I'm about six foot and I don't even touch the, the ceiling here. And then you still have the skylight up top for even more height. So if you're a taller person, it won't be an issue. Nice hand wand here to go ahead and rinse off. And then you have a couple of shelves there as well. All right, that'll wrap it up for the back half. Let's head up front, we'll take a look at the bedroom. In the bedroom of the 26 RBSS, you have a queen bed right here. LED lights up top for reading. And then also up top above the reading lights, you can see you have very deep storage, easy to get to. Uh, you have the struts on there for one hand access, so that way you don't have to sit here and hold one open with one hand trying to get in there. Both sides, you have additional storage. You can see that you have a hanging rod up there too. So if you need to hang some clothes, you can go ahead and do that. Shelf on either side below the wardrobe. And uh, right beneath that, you have electrical outlet as well as two USB ports in case you have to plug in any electronics. Hookups for TV are right here, speakers on both sides, and then right up top you have a vent. So if you want to open up the windows, open the vent up for some airflow. If you don't want to turn on the AC, you can certainly do that too. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Mini Plus 26 RBSS. I love this floor plan. They've done a lot of great things on the Mini Plus side. Um, you know, you have that drop frame for a ton of storage outside. You have the nice contouring on the front end. You still have the excellent construction with the true poured gel coat. The farm style doors they've included in the front and back, I think, are very neat too. If you are interested in this coach and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel so you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.